All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I know it's too late now for many of you, and most of you are asleep already, but by the time you wake up, you will see this video. Uh, this video is, is going to be very short. One of you sent me an email saying to me, do you think that uh, uh, if they prove that the Saudi uh, government, they killed this guy, Jamal Khashoggi, uh, there is going to be a huge consequence to Saudi Arabia? Uh, first of all, uh, Jamal Khashoggi is not a reporter, as many people say to you. He is a terrorist. But the funny thing is about the Western, when they want, they remember that you are a terrorist, and when they want, they forget about you. In case you don't remember, that Osama bin Laden himself was the friend of USA for a long time, and he's a terrorist. He was a terrorist when he was finding the, the Soviet Union. They sponsored him, they trained him, and he was a friend. This is how hypocrite they are. And this guy is a friend of Osama bin Laden. Actually, there's a picture of him carrying weapons side by side with Osama bin Laden and the founder of Al-Qaeda, which is Abdullah Azzam. So both of them, there is no question, they are terrorists. But the question is how hypocrite the world is, or, or let's say the Western government, when they want this guy as a reporter, or when they want this guy as a hero, bin Laden, when they want he is a terrorist, when they want this guy as a terrorist. So I made the... A video about Khashoggi two days ago, three days ago, about that he's a terrorist. Uh, yesterday, the son of Trump, he posted uh, in a Twitter that uh, I never thought that Khashoggi is a terrorist. As you know, imagine, guys, imagine those who work in the White House in the highest level, a guy he worked as a consultant to Trump, who they can report, get report of anyone in the world, including me and you, in a second. They never heard and they never imagined that Khashoggi is a terrorist. Mm, yeah, right. <laughs> you see, I, I support Trump in the election, but I don't support lies. I don't care who, who is the one is saying the lie. So now, because of Trump and uh, the, uh, all of them, I mean, not only Trump, they cannot go after the Saudi. Nobody can go after them. We know that. The Saudi, they bought, they made a deal, 110, $110 billion dollar. So what do you want to do? You want to stop selling them weapons? This is a punishment to America, not a punishment to the Saudi. They will buy from the Russian. Same time, the punishment to Saudi Arabia, I believe, is going to be the Saudi, they will fly over, and they will increase the deal from 110,000 or 110 uh, uh, billion dollar uh, to make it 200 billion dollar. It's a bribe, you know. We know we know that the whole deal is not really a real deal. It's a bribe to the state, all of you say so they can protect the Saudi. Now, all the other European Union countries who they are speaking about, uh, we should punish them, we should blah, 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 blah. Listen carefully. They are the one who can punish you. It is not you who can punish them. For a very simple reason. You depend on their oil. You stupid European, you refuse you refuse to use all kind of, you know, like uh, energy to be independent by yourself to the point you became dependent in the blood of others. You are dependent on the Russian. This is why you cannot make really real sanctions on the Russian. Still, you are buying their gas. I mean, you, you make sanctions in the Russian, but you are buying their gas. Why? Because you cannot live without it. And now you want to put sanctions in Saudi Arabia. What you will do? You will stop buying their oil? <laughs> That is a joke. The fact they are the one who can put sanctions on you and they are the one who can humiliate you and they are the one who can stop selling you oil and then you start eating your, your nails and you kiss, you will kiss their shoes saying, oh, please don't. When Trump, he said to the stupid Western government, let us make a line of energy between USA, Canada, USA, Mexico, all the way to Europe to make you independent. The stupid Western government, they refuse. They refuse. They don't want that. Because supposedly the Russian and the Middle Eastern energy is cheaper. But as you see, by not having multiple source of energy, you are always under risk. So for the one who asked me about, are they really going to punish Saudi Arabia? I say the opposite. They are the one who will punish you. If Saudi Arabia today, without putting sanctions on anyone, if they decide to say, okay, you know what? This month we will not provide one uh, ten thousand barrel a day. A day, 
we will do only five barrels at uh, uh, five five million barrel a day that alone will increase the price of oil 50 percent and they are the one who will pay it so if you are paying um, 20 dollars for your trunk you will pay 40. and the saudi state they will make money because the price of oil will, uh, anyway will increase will increase as we see you know will increase very easy you see trump he did he he put sanctions on iran and already the oil price is going high and the sanctions did not even start so what will happen when the sanctions start the saudi is the one who is supposedly helping trump to keep the prices down if the saudi decide not to do so the prices will go up same time what sanctions you would do on them nothing you cannot do anything with their money they can buy weapon from everybody with their money they can buy the honor of many in the in, in the west all of those leaders you see there all what they are asking for like you know i heard that uh, lindsey graham who is a republican this guy is a, is a is a rat this guy is the best friend to the saudi but now he have to act as if he is against them this it's a game this guy and john mccain john mccain thanks god he is gone but john mccain and this guy both are the puppy of the saudi Lindsey Graham now he is acting as if he is the enemy. We are going to punish them. We are. This is just uh, you know just uh, to 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 take away the accusation against him that he is their puppy. But later you will see that nothing will happen. Not only that you know they will say oh there is no proof. And even if there even if there is a video, even if the king himself said I killed him, what they can do about it? Nothing. My friend, wake up. Those people they killed nations and nobody did anything about it. They destroy Syria. Millions of people die and nothing done about it. Joe Biden, Biden the, 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 the idiot of Obama, he himself in his conference, he said, the one who sponsored the terrorists in Syria, it was Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Emirat, Bahrain. And what they did about them? Nothing. I mean, they are the one. And Turkey. Turkey, the one is complaining about killing. How many people kidnapped in Turkey by Erdogan? How many people right now is in jail illegally by Erdogan even the post office guy is arrested and kidnapped and nobody knows what it, what you can find them and suddenly Erdogan is speaking about um, what you did so Erdogan himself all what he needed from the Saudi is a check you know his economy is collapsing they are like puppies you know all of the everybody is a everybody want to want, want a bone this is the whole story it's a bone People they kidnap government. You see, I made a, a video that says, "What if the government kidnap you?" The head of the Interpol, the head of the Interpol, imagine is kidnapped in China, and not even one one potato in all the world dare to say free him. This is the head of the Interpol, and not only that, they force him to send the letter that he has re resigned from his job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my friend, the world is funny, and it's full of a, of a drama, and I'm laughing not because it's it's a, like it's it's a it's kind of a sad drama, and comedy, in the same time. But don't fool yourself and think that those people when they say in TV they say things they mean it. Nothing will happen to the Saudi. What might happen? It would happen to you. You are the poor one. You are the one who, when they increase the price, you will pay the price for the gas. Those who they are in office, they don't even pay for their car. They have a government car. They have a government salary. They have a government insurance. They have a government housing. They have a government airplane. And you are the one who have to pay for everything. Those people, they never suffer. And this guy, Khashoggi, is a big, fat terrorist. And he, you know, he's gone where he belongs. When you kill people at the end, you will end somewhere. This guy, his hands, obviously, is full of blood. There is many, many, you know, uh, even this Washington Post. Look and look, look at the look, look, look at the hypocrisy. Um, the Washington Post link the journalist, the journalist, to Muslim Brotherhood and Osama bin Laden. But is it weird? So why you are giving him a job all those years? Now he is linked to the terrorist. <laughs> You see, now they remember, and the funny, like you know, I, I when I made the video, nobody was talking about this, but the funny, 
now the Washington Post remember that this guy is a terrorist so why he was working for you all those years just now you remember that <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Like imagine like a, a Christian prince is working for Washington Post for the last five or six years. And then Washington Post making an article saying Christian Prince he, he have links to terrorists. <laughs> is that good or bad for, for who is it? Who is who is the bad here? Washington Post or or this guy? They are a bunch of a scumbag. All of what happened suddenly that Washington Post or if you obviously they receive a check from the Saudi they said to them what do you want how much let us make it short cut the crap how much name your price and then the Washington Post not only will not ask what happened to our journalist which is not a journalist really he is a terrorist he is a he is an intelligent agent he is a double agent he is a scumbag and now not only they will forget about him and they will not ask the Saudi what happened to him now they are even accusing him to be a terrorist which is a true and he is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood which is a true and he is a scumbag which is a true but the game is how we can fool you and how we can play with you and you are always the victim who believe what they say to you in TV don't listen to them don't believe them the world is full of people who say things and do something else. It's a show and there's many fool who believe in it. Everything you see around you is fake. Uh, you know, like even elections, I mean, even elections, sometimes the election is already decided before the election day. But people believe that there is election. Anyway, uh, I hope, and <laughs> count my words, I hope that the Saudi will not punish the Western, <laughs> not the opposite. <laughs> I mean, the, the world is really funny, you know. Uh, thanks God that in America now we don't need the, uh, the Saudi oil. Thanks God. Otherwise, the American will be in trouble too. But now because of Trump, he opened all, all resource to be used. The American, they will never need oil. Actually, even the rich, they have a lot of oil. But you see, the problem is when liberals control you. When I say liberals, by the way, I don't mean a, a party called liberal. No, European countries controlled by liberals. It doesn't matter what the name of the party. Even those who call themselves conservative, they are liberal. So, you know, go green and the global warming and all this garbage. One volcano if it's erupt is going to cover all the global warming in the coming 100 year what a global warming the whole earth system is the same as you know like to make it simple for those who believe in the stupid the global warming imagine you have an ac air condition what the air condition do it take heat from one place and dump it in the other place which is outside that's it it doesn't really create heat it doesn't increase heat it doesn't decrease heat it just re re relocating the heat from a to b as simple as that and this is what happened in this earth it's a normal to happen you know did, did people ask themselves how we arrived to the ace age how we arrived to the hot age and then how you know it's this is normal this is a, there's a there's a circle of movement in this earth and is going to, if 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 any big eruption of one volcano as i said it's more than all the cars burning in the coming hundred year this is this is stupid and this is naive but all of it is about business at the end of the day because we make you we you know it's an excuse to to, to force tax on you global warming tax uh, etc tax you know all, all kind of tax and in the top of that uh, uh, many companies will find a business from this because now like as an example in many uh, the, the stupid Obama he wanted to force all American to paint their roofs white I mean imagine how happy the <laughs> the painting companies will be <laughs> the same as they did when they create lies about the the piggy flu they made every naive American go and take a flu shot and they made billions if not a trillions of dollars 
when in fact there's nothing there only more not even two people die Biden he go and he say now it is time for people to stay home not to go in the bus not to go in the train if I am my yourself if I am me you want to travel I will never go an airplane or a train he scared the hell off everybody just because they have deals with big corporations to sell the flu shot it is a business and you are the product and in this case here is no different all of this talk is garbage those guys they always kill and not the all not, not they are not the only one who kill the Turkish they kidnap people did you remember that the head of the Kurdish uh, uh, the, the Kurdish uh, fighters uh, 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 what his name uh, I forgot really his name they kidnapped him they kidnapped him, the, the, the Turkish intelligence, and they dump him right away in Turkey. And then now he disappeared. So all government in the world, they do that. And they do assassination. For anyone, he is a big risk on them. And USA does that. The CIA does that. The French, they do that. All of them, they do that. And suddenly now, all of them, they are the angels of God who they are so upset because the Saudi did what they exactly do. Don't take me wrong, the Saudi are a bunch of garbage government. They are dictators, they are filthy, they are disgusting. But those who speak about them, they are no better. I'm not going to speak long about this topic. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, I hope I did not hear, hurt the feeling of many. Just with this, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our channel. And this is a Christian prince gave you his view of what it's called news which is really not a news it is just a game thank you and see you tomorrow christ is lord and see you soon again bye bye